Hello, hello, here is Copper, Silver and Steel. Welcome back to the series about off-grid system. Today, I think an interesting topic because I will show you how to build a simple wind controller using MPPT solar controller. On the market, you can find a dedicated wind controllers, wind charge controllers for your wind turbine, but they are much more expensive and the MPPT solar are much more affordable, but of course they are designed to use with solar panels, so they work on direct current DC input. And 99% of wind turbines on the market works on three phase AC current, so alternating current, pulsating current with different frequency, and we need to make it into DC. So the main part which without you can go forward is full bridge three phase rectifier. You can also use three different separate one phase uh, full bridge rectifier but I decided to use this one because it's nice and compact size and as you can see um, it's really nice. So I will show the model Mine is uh, rated for 30, 30, 35 amps. Yeah, now it's seen. So this uh, here sh shows me that this is 35 amps. And there are five outputs, five connectors. So you may be wondering which is which, where is input, where is output, when to connect wind turbine, when to, where to connect DC. So basically, if you take a look at this and the part when it is catted in here, but also there is a plus connected here. So this and this one is DC. How to find them? These three are in parallel to each other. So they are facing the way. So you are locating three which are facing to each other. One, two, three and these three wires is AC input. So here you connect your wind turbine and the remaining two are DC. And the, in the, of course here uh, alternating current, no matter how you connect, the order is completely, completely free. But to locate which is which, you of course look at the labels or locate this half catted part and this is plus. So I have prepared my cables now. I will connect DC plus DC positive in here and the rest here is DC negative. Of course before connecting into solar controller or everywhere else you need to use a multimeter and voltage meter and check if the polarity is correct. So basically you do some spins on the uh, on your wind turbine with your hand or using a, this tool and you measure the output uh, voltage. So now as you can see uh, these three are AC and those two are DC. So basically then they could be connected into MPPT solar controller directly, but directly is not recommended way. I will use switches. First switch will be for input from a wind turbine. So basically here we go with the input uh, to have a circuit breaker. Then we will connect those two three in here and we will have um, some mount for, of course, and I'm showing you not connecting everything in place. Some connect to, uh, you know, emit heat from this rectifier because during high loads it will be hot. So, for example, like here. And our two DC could go directly, but directly is not recommended way. So I will use another switch. So I connect. Uh, it here and the second one will go somewhere here this breaker of course in your country it could be di uh, different so red and black 
they are positive, negative, positive, negative. And now we could connect it to the PV input plus and PV, oh, uh, sorry, PV input plus and PV input minus, positive and negative. And what is the most important thing that you need to check before doing such a thing? But, well, first you need to take it into specification of your controller, solar controller, and check the maximum input voltage for PV panels. They cannot be, I mean, the voltage generated by wind turbine cannot be higher than uh, the producers allows in here. Uh, for this particular model, which is um, a multi-voltage uh, battery system, uh, it's not here, but uh, there is 150 volts of input, which is pretty good for my wind turbine. I have a wind turbine made from generator from the servo engine, servo motor, and uh, it produces at super high RPMs, uh, even uh, 400 uh, volts, volts, but it's uh, impossible to get in uh, real wind conditions. Uh, during uh, my tests on the open voltage was about 100 uh, volts. You need to know that after um, going through bridge rectifier, the voltage between phases will be multiplied by the square two. Um, so if your generator is rated, for example, in uh, 100 volts, the DC voltage should could be even 141 volts. But you need to always, uh, you know, do some measurements and, uh, you know, combine it and check if it's compatible. So um, the input voltage of PV panels should be compatible with your wind turbine voltage. This is the first thing. Another f f thing is the um, amperage of this rectifier it cannot be too small i have decided to use 35 amps which is pretty big for my high voltage um, wind generator because if you multiply voltage uh, and um, amperage you will get pretty big power which is impossible to get in the real wind conditions so we are safe in here but if you build your rectifier using diodes by your own you need to take into consideration the amperage of the diodes it, it, it they must be high power diodes okay so this is the super basic idea how you connect AC wind turbine into MPPT solar controller and we, we could stop in here but if you take a look at this uh, wind uh, controllers on the market dedicated wind controls on the market you will notice that there are also one thing which is the breaker the breaker which is a resistor high power resistor uh, that will be used to stop your wind turbine so to give a load and change this energy into heat when the battery is full and there is no load on the on the in your house for example so you need don't need energy and the wind is high so your wind turbine goes freaking out and you need resistors uh, this is 100 watts uh, 8 ohms resistor uh, you can calculate how much you need not to over those with the heat you can connect that in a series so the current will be the same in the series but the voltage drop so the power actually will be split di divided by this one so uh, in this project as you can see the board is much bigger than i need here uh, there will be also a ray for a uh, negative positive with additional switch to enable the um, emergency breaker uh, so if you are interested in this project how it goes if you want to see my wind turbine uh, my blades which i am working on it in here they are after test the tests were very good but they are a little bit too soft so i need to make some improvements using 
alloy. Um, so yeah, this is my project for now. So if you are interested, just give me a comment and I will make another video for you. And this is guess for the what. Alright, so thanks for watching. It was Copper, Silver and Steel in the Off-Grid series. See you later.